Governor Murphy, when you're ready. Thank you, Michelle. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thrilled to be joined by a, a, a group of stars. Marlene Caride, who is our commissioner of the Department of Banking and Insurance. We have Dr. Sharif el CEO of University Hospital in Newark. Dr. Herb Conway, who's the Assembly Health Committee Chair. We have Sarah Sternbach, who's the Director of Social Services at Lakewood Resource and Referral Center. We're hoping to be joined by Congressman Frank Pallone and Assemblyman John McKeon, who was chair of the Insurance and Financial Services Committee in the Assembly. Uh, welcome, everybody. Great to be with you. One of our administration's top priorities from day one has been to make health care more affordable for all New Jerseyans, as well as making access easier for those who do not receive health care through their employer. To further both of these goals, we started Get Covered NJ, our state's health insurance marketplace under the Affordable Care Act and available at getcovered.nj.gov. This year, Get Covered NJ has more options available with the addition of a new carrier, WellCare of New Jersey. Record levels of financial help are also available thanks to the American Rescue Plan and state subsidies. Open enrollment for Get Covered NJ for 2022 has started and it will run through January 31st, 2022. And by the way, at the same time, the COVID-19 special enrollment period for those whose coverage was impacted by the pandemic and need health care now remains open through the end of the year, December 31st, 2021. Roughly 90%, 90% of residents will find they will qualify for financial support. And the majority of people receiving help can access a plan for $10 or less per month. And I see with my own eyes, Dr. Herb Conaway. Thanks to funding for the American Rescue Plan, financial support is available for many more New Jerseyans than before. Any individual with, individual with an income up to 77,280 or a family of four with a household income up to $159,000 is eligible. Since we launched Get Covered NJ last year, it has delivered for residents. In just the first year, health plan enrollment increased 10% over the prior year. And throughout 2021 with the special enrollment period, even more New Jerseyans found affordable health care through Get Covered NJ, a record, by the way, of over 283,000. Everything needed to purchase a new health care policy or to renew coverage through Get Covered NJ is at that website, getcovered.nj.gov. And through a variety of partners in person and virtual assistance is available in every one of our 21 counties. This year, we're adding two new healthcare navigator organizations to help identify, educate, and assist residents with enrollment. That gives us a total of 18 navigators statewide. And University Hospital, Sharif, is a returning navigator. And this year, Sarah, Lakewood Resource and Referral Center, is joining the ranks. Welcome. So here's Get Covered NJ in a nutshell. More choice, less money. When we stand up for the Affordable Care Act, the result is more affordable health care. And again, the website is getcovered.nj.gov. With that, please help me welcome our rockin' commissioner of the New Jersey Department of Banking and Insurance, Marlene Caride. Thank you, Governor. And, and of course, thank you for your leadership in expanding access to health care uh, and health coverage to our residents. If the last two years has taught us anything, it is the importance of quality health care, uh, from getting preventive screening for the early detection of medical issues that could become more severe if left untreated, to addressing emergencies if and when they occur. New Jersey has played a leadership role in building on the Affordable Care Act to make health insurance more affordable and accessible to the uh, residents of New Jersey. Last year, under the governor's leadership, we opened our own health insurance marketplace, Get Covered New Jersey. And at that time, we also began providing state level subsidies to make coverage more affordable for our residents on top of the federal tax credits available to many New Jerseyans. The American Rescue Plan 
passed by Congress and signed by President Biden earlier this year, made the biggest change to the Affordable Care Act since its enactment, drastically expanding access to financial help for the consumers. Put simply, the American Rescue Plan was a game changer for affordability, helping millions of American access coverage and our expansion of state subsidies this year made coverage even more affordable in New Jersey. Right now, we are in the critical three month open enrollment period. This is the one time of the year when residents without health insurance through their employer or other programs such as Medicaid or Medicare can enroll in health plan. 90% of residents enrolling will qualify for financial help as mentioned by the governor. And the majority of the people receiving financial help can find a plan for $10 a month or less. We have a tool on our website that consumers can use to compare plans and costs and see if they qualify for financial help. As the governor mentioned, the website is getcovered.nj.gov. The state has also expanded the number of organizations in the community providing free assistance to residents who need help enrolling. We are fortunate to have two of those organizations here today to talk about the services they provide as introduced by our governor. The bottom line is, we know we are approaching a busy time of the year with the holidays. If you have not yet explored your options, now is the time to do so. Residents have until December 31st to enroll in health insurance that will take effect January 1st. If you need coverage, or even if, you're, if you haven't looked before or you've looked before, we encourage you to, review, to come back and view the options that are available. Similarly, if you have health insurance that you purchased directly from a health insurance company, you may qualify for financial help. So we urge you and encourage you to check out the plans at Get Covered New Jersey. You can find the same plan from the same health insurance company or a similar plan that will suit your needs. Health insurance truly is in reach of many residents as a result of the new savings. So if you need coverage, please go to getcovered.nj.gov and check out the different options available to you. Thank you, Governor. Marlene, thank you for your great leadership. You, we made the decision to take back our destiny and build our own health exchange in New Jersey. You oversaw that. You did an extraordinary job. You continue to thank you for everything you do. It's now my honor, beaming him in from Washington, to welcome my congressman, the chairman. All, all matters related to health go through the Energy and Commerce Committee. And Frank Pallone is chair of it. Please help us welcome a champion for the Affordable Care Act for affordable health care, accessible health care, period, in New Jersey, around the country. Congressman Frank Pallone. Thank you, Governor, and thank you, Commissioner. You're the best. I, uh, I'm in between votes here, so you have to excuse me. I think we just finished the last one. But I just wanted to say um, you know, how fortunate we are to live in a state where you have a governor and a commissioner that are trying to address this whole affordability issue and access issue for health care. I mean, obviously, when we talk about the Affordable Care Act, that was uh, an initiative by Congress under President Obama. Some people still call it Obamacare. Um, and it was meant to allow people that didn't get uh, good coverage under their, um, you know, with their job or weren't eligible for Medicare or Medicaid uh, or other insurance plans through the government that they would be able to buy it uh, privately and get help to pay for it. But the state uh, under Governor Murphy and Commissioner, they have just taken this so much further. As the, go as the governor mentioned, uh, he set up a, a state plan, which, you know, people say, or a state exchange, which is good because it tailors uh, the marketplace, the insurance marketplace, if you will, to the state of New Jersey. But they've done uh, so much more. Uh, first of all, everyone has to understand these are quality uh, plans. I mean, every plan offered on the state exchange covers preventative services, emergency services, prescription drugs and maternity, newborn care and more. And no one can be denied coverage due to a pre-existing condition. So that's it. These are good plans. These are good benefits. But they also got a uh, reinsurance waiver so that my understanding, Marlene, is that there are now uh, more uh, insurance plans available this year. That's because of what you did with the reinsurance. Um, 
But, you know, when you talk about access and affordability, obviously, over the years, we have to change this. So one of the things that we did at the federal level with the American Rescue Plan, which was earlier this year, uh, was to increase the subsidies um, and also who's eligible. So, you know, a lot of people think uh, they have to be low income. Uh, I mean, not that, you know, if you're a millionaire, you're not eligible. But just to give you an idea, because I wrote it down here, in New Jersey, if you are a family of, um, let's see, individuals with incomes up to 77,000 and 159,000 for a family of four. Because we know that in New Jersey, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, you have to have a higher income uh, because of, of the cost of living. And so this is now at income levels that a lot of people may not realize that they can get help even at those higher income levels that I mentioned. So I don't want people to think that you know, if they're only eligible if they're making 30, 40,000 a year, they, they're eligible if they're making more, obviously not if you're rich, but you, you get the idea. And, um, and the other thing too, is that um, uh, the, what, what they're doing with the navigators is so important because a lot of states or at the federal level don't have people that will help you. So when we talk about navigators, you know, you can, uh, as the governor said, go to a lot of different nonprofits that are available to help you sign up for these plans. But it's also true, uh, and I, I, I you know, mention this because a lot of people don't realize that even individual insurance agents, like in other words, uh, health insurance agents can also uh, help you, or you can even buy the plans through them in New Jersey. So there's all kinds of ways to uh, get information about how to sign up. Most people are eligible for some kind of help. And most important, these are really good plans. There's no reason not to sign up for them or at least check them out. So I just want to thank you, Governor and the Commissioner, uh, because you're really going out of your way. I don't think there's any state where there's more access. Uh, you even increased the, the, the subsidy beyond what we did at the federal level, right? So you've done everything to try to make this. There's no excuse really for people not to sign up or at least inquire and go on the website and inquire as to what uh, is available to them. So thank you again. Thanks for everything you do, really. Frank, likewise, I don't know where we'd be without you fighting for us in Washington. Uh, and you're right, Marlene mentioned this as well, 90% of residents in this state will, will qualify for financial help. And that's a staggering number. I, I dare say no other state in America could say that. Secondly, you and I have talked about this, are we nice people in, the, in that we want as many healthy people in the state as possible for their benefit? Absolutely. We're also cold-blooded. A healthier state is a stronger state for everybody, not just the people who are helping to get access and affordability, but for all of us. It's the smart, right thing to do in the long term. So, Frank, thank you for everything you do fighting for us down there, and, and uh, we'll, we'll keep the home fires burning till you get back up here. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Chairman. Um, Frank and um, Marlene and I have all referenced the folks who are out there who help, help folks figure out what the right plan is, where to go to get the most financial help. University Hospital plays a multi-hat role in our state. Uh, it's the, the one hospital that's under the state's control. Uh, it's in our largest city. It's one of the largest hospitals in the state. Uh, Sharif is a former commissioner of the Department of Health. During the pandemic, he has been the Northern Region Coordinator for all things related to the pandemic and has done an extraordinary job. And if that weren't enough, University Hospital is back, as they were before, as a navigator. So with that, please help me welcome the CEO of University Hospital in Newark, Dr. Sharif al -Mahal. Thank you so much, Governor, and thank you, Commissioner Karide, for uh, you're working making health insurance more affordable and accessible to the residents, the patients, the families we serve every day. I also want to thank Congressman Pallone for your tireless efforts uh, and the entire delegation in New Jersey for making sure that health care is more and more affordable and for passing the Affordable Care Act in the first place. I know that folks on this call, the governor most importantly, views health care as a right and not a privilege. And I know that because I worked for him and I worked with him on so many matters of healthcare. And I can tell you that the American Rescue Plan and the expansion of the state subsidies were very promising developments that both built on the progress of the ACA and also vastly improved affordability for so many people enrolling in coverage through the New Jersey state-based exchange. Big enrollment numbers in Newark, we help people every single day enroll in Medicaid, 
now enroll as a navigator in these Affordable Care Act plans and other forms of healthcare coverage where needed. Today's press conference is yet another opportunity for us to remind residents that our hospital engages in this effort along with our colleagues, our other navigators in the state, and we are proudly doing so in Newark as an anchor. We never ever deny care based on the ability to pay. And so you will always get care regardless of your insurance status, but I can tell you, longitudinal care, preventative care as a physician, I know that that is the gold standard. You will be healthier, you will be better off, and insurance is the first key to being able to achieve that. And through the governor's leadership and the state-based exchange, we now have more time to enroll you, we have more resources, we have more people, and we have more training to be able to bring more and more folks into these plans, which are exceedingly affordable. You can find assistance from University Hospital, as well as other navigators by, again, visiting the website, getcovered.nj.gov. We're right there if you live in Newark. And select Find Local Assistance on the menu uh, and click on your local area. If you need coverage, now is the time to shop for your health plan. Please do not hesitate to contact us. Record levels of financial help are available, and 9 in 10 residents shopping at Get Cover New Jersey will receive financial help to lower their health plan costs. So we could not be more excited to be participating yet again in this program. Thanks, Governor. Sharif, thank you, man, for everything you all do in Teen University Hospital. It's as good as it gets. It takes a village, and it sure takes uh, folks who are outstanding leaders in our legislature. We've got two, honored to have two of them here today. First up to bat, I mentioned earlier, he's the chair of the Assembly Health Committee. He's a medical doctor himself. He's a dear friend. And importantly, he oversees all health matters in Burlington County, one of our most important and one of our most diverse counties. And you can see in the poster behind him, his mantra is working together today for a healthier tomorrow. Please help me welcome Dr. Herb Conaway. Herb, you're mute. There you go. Thanks so much, Governor, and, and thanks so much for your, your leadership. All of New Jersey should be very grateful uh, to have you at, at the helm of this state and uh, helping. Um, Herb, I think we may need a little bit more volume out of you. Is that possible to turn the volume up? Let's see. Is that there? A little bit. I hear you, I hear you loudly. Um, to, well, let's work on it. Let's go to John. And then <laughs> Can you hear me now? Do you want to do yeah, I Yeah, it's a little bit tough, but it's better. But when you leaned in like that, it was a little bit better. I'm going to put my earbuds in, and we'll try it that way. And, and why don't you let John lead off, and I'll be back to you. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's go over to our other great legislator. I mentioned earlier, Chair of the Insurance <laughs> and Financial Services uh, and co uh, Committee in the Assembly. Another dear friend, a guy who's been up to his eyeballs uh, in the whole of, of a lot of things, but in this case, in the development of our state-based exchange, uh, work, have worked seamlessly with Marlene and her team. Please help me welcome dear friend, Assemblyman and Chairman John McKeon. Governor, thank you so much for your gracious comments, although they didn't rise to uh, Commissioner Caridi, who was known as the rocking commissioner. I only wish one day I am the rocking Assemblyman, as is my colleague, Dr. Uh, Conaway. You're, you're under consideration, John. Thank you for that, sir. Uh, and uh, I have to note, uh, Congressman Pallone and I were, uh, I was fortunate to stand next to him as we uh, stood together in the park in Middlesex as it related to prescription costs and one of the many, many things that uh, he's working at. And, and to all, uh, doctor, uh, yourself, with the great work you do, and Sarah, as you'll highlight just in a little bit, uh, but I just want to remind everybody for a minute, remember where we were four years ago before this governor was before us. Uh, we were uh, you know, on the edge of losing all the things that the Affordable Care Act gave to us. Lifetime caps to make certain we be protected, pre-existing conditions that that wouldn't preclude us from getting health insurance. Our kids, before they turn the age of 26, continuing to be able to stay on our health insurance. Governor uh, Murphy, made certain that we put the state's imprimatur on all those very important policies and that they could never take them away from us in Washington at a time when they were threatening to do so. Uh, and, and similar as it relates to the exchange, you know, through again, Commissioner Caridi, to have put this exchange together, to have done it, especially with the individual market, with the reinsurance piece, that would have been a 19% swing 
uh, as opposed to the 10% that uh, those premiums were going to go up, they went down 9% to make it affordable and to use the premium charges that were going to come out of the uh, federal government that should have been spent as it related to uh, what they were intended for. Uh, we made certain that those dollars are going in to continue to keep our reinsurance uh, money robust. But look, at the end of the day, everyone, 90% of us, 90% are eligible for some kind of help. There's only 283,000 that signed up so far. Marlene, as good as that is, what are we going to do? We're going to double that. That's it. We're going to double that number at 283. That's amazing having that many covered lives. But let's now go into this next several months in this period and get the word out through webinars like this, through any which way we can to make certain that we have New Jerseyans insured and protected. I'm proud to be with all of you. You're all my heroes. And thank you for allowing me to participate. John, fabulous. Uh, and and you, you remind us all, it feels like five lifetimes ago, but the animating reason, and Frank Pallone will remember this especially, behind our move to establish our own exchange, and I'm not being political, it's a fact. The tr President Trump and his administration were trying to dismantle the Affordable Care Act. And even falling short of that, they are, we were not getting our money's worth. We were sending a lot of money to Washington and getting very little back. Remember the enrollment period got cut in half. The amount of money that you could use to promote the enrollment period got gutted. Uh, and John reminds us there's a reason we did this, not just for the fun of it. We did this to preserve all those uh, protections that you that you highlighted and, and to be, as I said, cold-blooded, get our money's worth out of this thing. And, John, and thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to speak again, but just think of it, uh, you know, listen, I don't be political either, but a year from now, there's going to be elections and they have consequences. So if you're out there and you don't have insurance, get it now because we yep. don't know where we're going a year from now. Hopefully the progress will continue, but we have to make sure we take care of our nine and a half million people here. Great, great point. Re regardless of your party, vote uh, and, and be an informed voter. Herb, uh, back to you. I won't give you the flourish again, although I'm happy to if you'd like it. Uh, and, and you sound, well, it was so good last time. It, I know, it's be I know. Twice. Uh, you sound, your volume is much better. Take it away, Herb. Thanks again for everything and for being with us today. So glad to, to join uh, so many great leaders in our state, and particularly your governor, your administration, and, and Commissioner Caridi for uh, bringing forward uh, this health exchange. John and I, as you know, we're co-sponsors on the assembly side of this legislation and, and Senator Vitale on the other side. And one of the fights we had, and this is apropos of what of who we'll hear from shortly, is, is fighting for those navigators to help people get insurance. And, it's, and why is it important? Because insurance status equals health status. It is the gateway uh, to care. It allows greater access uh, to physicians, greater access to services in healthcare, allows people to engage in preventative services, uh, that um, will help them prolong their life and live uh, a better life at present. And, and here's just to put a story. I, I'll never forget uh, working in the clinic probably three or four years ago now, uh, a woman uh, came in and, and, you know, was very concerned. She was having symptoms that were concerning, but she told me, you know, she had put off uh, coming to the doctor because she didn't have insurance and she didn't know what to do. And, and just by happenstance, or she talked to somebody, why don't you go over uh, to a hospital, uh, to the clinic there and see if you can get some help. And she had had, you know, some ominous signs and it turns out, you know, she ended up having cancer that we, uh, after we got her in and got her moving down a diagnostic pathway. Uh, and this is a story and, uh, you know, it turned out well for her. Um, but, uh, this is a story that's repeated over and over again, the anxiety around it. As you mentioned, uh, I think, uh, uh, Dr. Alan Hall, um, that, uh, healthcare is a right and it's a right because it can have such um, grave consequences in many cases for individuals who uh, might befall, uh, come across a terrible illness, uh, but it also has important con uh, consequences for those who are growing and just starting out life. Um, to, to be able to go to the doctor, to get your preventative care, to get your vaccinations, to get your teeth fixed uh, so that you can um, stay in the classroom and learn. We know that kids who have better health status learn better in school, and that gives them the kind of start they need in life. We know that people have anxiety around the dinner table, around their kitchen table, about their health status. And, and gosh, I have a symptom. Can I go see the doctor? Can I afford to do it? Uh, but we've made the changes here, not only to make sure that people can get insurance, protecting uh, that process against 
the vagaries in Washington, in spite of the great people like we have uh, Senator, uh, rather, Congressman Pallone, who've been fighting for us for so many years uh, to prove the health status, not only in people here in New Jersey, but right straight across this country. They owe a debt of gratitude to people like Frank Pallone, who, who are out there ensuring access uh, to health care for the many people in our country. It is a right. We have to protect it. Uh, and we need to continue to do all. And with your leadership, we certainly will uh, to ensure that that right is manifest for our New Jerseyans. Better health care, stronger state. I'm all for it. Thanks for what you're doing. And we're going to continue to do it uh, going forward. Herb, thank you. That was terrific. Uh, and it was worth the wait, Herb. Uh, bless you, pal. <laughs> and thank you for thank your you. leadership. So uh, in baseball, you put your best hitter at cleanup, and we've got a great hitter bat and cleanup for us today. I mentioned that Sharif El Nahal and University Hospital are back as a navigator, but we're adding to the family. And, and, and the navigators play an indispensable role in matching the individual with the right plan that's most affordable and most appropriate for them, because sometimes that process isn't easy. Please help me welcome representing Lakewood Resource and Referral Center, its director of social services, the one and only Sarah Sternbeck. Sarah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for that introduction. Um, I'm very excited to be here. My organization has been helping people to enroll in affordable health insurance coverage since the very first open enrollment period under the Affordable Care Act back in 2014. From our years of experience helping residents like you enroll in coverage, our viewers, I can tell you that there has never been a better time to be a resident of New Jersey looking for health insurance coverage. Thanks to the American Rescue Plan and the additional subsidies offered by the state, there is a lot of assistance available that will be applied directly to your monthly costs of your insurance, and it is easier than ever to access this help. During this open enrollment period alone, we have helped hundreds of households to enroll in excellent coverage for a very low price. Our clients have obtained coverage for only a couple dollars per month with very low deductibles and out-of-pocket maximums. If you received a quote in the past and you opted not to enroll in coverage because it was too expensive, we urge you to try again now during this open enrollment period by going to getcovered.nj.gov or by reaching out to a certified assister for help. A tremendous thank you goes to our wonderful governor and our, ded our dedicated Dolby commissioner and the entire Get Covered New Jersey team, who I've been working very closely with, uh, for making coverage affordable and for making an investment in the Navigator program. Navigators are people like you, helpful members of the communities that you live in that have gone through comprehensive training to help you get the most affordable coverage specific for your needs. Please reach out to us for help. Our services are free. We're, it's available to anyone. We are here for you and we are excited to help you get the coverage that you need to get and stay healthy. Thank you. Sarah, so well done. Thank you Thank for you. joining the team. Great to have you on board. So folks, on behalf of Commissioner Marlene Caride, my Congressman Chairman Frank Pallone, Dr. Sharif El Nahal and the University Hospital team, two great leaders in the Assembly Chair, Dr. Herb Conway Chair, John McKeon, uh, and last but not least, a great presentation by Sarah Sternbach representing Lakewood Resource and Referral Center. It is open enrollment. We're open for business through January 31st, 2022. Go to getcovered.nj. Dot gov. That's all you have to do. Getcovered.nj.gov. And we'll take it from there, folks. Take care, everybody. God bless. Stay healthy. See you soon. Take care.